starting to fail. While China remains seemingly devoted to copying Soviet armor, Japan continues its trend towards increasingly indigenous designs. The Type 96 armored personnel carrier is a good example and comparable in quality to Western products. Although Japanese military hardware is typically high standard, there have been some rare but unfortunately very public mishaps, such as during military displays or parades, which surely left the Japanese military not knowing collectively whether to laugh or cry. For example, in November 2016, during a military display celebrating the 59th anniversary of Kusu Garrison, a Type 96 APC of the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force suddenly lost a wheel. As described in gleeful detail by the Chinese press, during the Kusu anniversary display, amateur video recorded a Type 96 bouncing forcefully over a bump in the road, the front right wheel promptly snapping off and being dragged along under the remaining right side wheels, before the vehicle halted a few moments later in front of gasping spectators. According to local sources, the cause of the accident was a broken gear shaft. On the upside, the incident conveniently illustrated that the Type 96's sturdy eight-wheel configuration enables it to continue operating even after losing one, and possibly even two, wheels. Perhaps the Chinese military also saw this incident as a welcome distraction, as several months earlier, one of their own main battle tanks, confusingly also called the Type 96, had a similar accident while competing in the 2016 tank biathlon in Russia. Pictures from this tank race reveal that while sprinting for the finish line, the Type 96B's front left road wheel flew off its track at high speed and rolled, still upright, to a standstill beside the track. The fact that the stricken tank charged on unaffected to win the race was heralded by the Chinese media as a tactical and strategic victory. A truly unforgettable moment for the country's tank forces. The Type 96 Wheeled Armoured Personnel Carrier is an armoured vehicle designed principally to transport personnel and equipment into a combat area. Developed by Komatsu, it has been serving the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force since 1996. Komatsu has built 365 vehicles. The price of a Type 96 is up to $1.6 million each, which is quite expensive for an APC. It's highly maneuverable and capable of transporting up to eight fully equipped combat troops and two crew members. The Type 96 has a relatively low profile, similar to the standard Western armoured vehicles. The hull is made of all welded steel armour. The engine compartment is on the front left of the vehicle and the exhaust outlet is on the left side of the hull roof. The driver sits in the front right and is aided by three day periscopes, the centre periscope being exchangeable for a passive night vision periscope when required. Behind the driver is the location of the commander gunner, possessing a 360 degree rotating cupola that can carry either a 40mm grenade launcher or a 12.7mm M2HB machine gun. The gun can be aimed and fired from within the safety of the cupola. A bank of four forward firing smoke grenade launchers is mounted either side of the troop compartment. Soldiers in the passenger compartment can use their personal weapons to enhance the firepower of the vehicle through two firing ports on each side of the hull. The 8x8 wheeled vehicle has a weight of 14.6 tonnes, a length of 6.84 metres or 22.44 feet, a width of 2.48 metres or 8.14 feet, and a height of 1.85 metres or 6.07 feet. The troops can enter and exit the vehicle through a power-operated ramp located in the rear. There are five roof hatches, three on the left and two on the right, on the top of the troop compartment. 
The Type 96 is also fitted with an enhanced nuclear, biological and chemical protective system for crew safety. A laser warning device is mounted forward on the left side of the roof. This is of the same type fitted to a number of other Japanese armoured fighting vehicles such as the Type 90 main battle tank. The vehicle is powered by a Mitsubishi 6D40 water-cooled six-cylinder diesel engine, which produces 360 horsepower. The vehicle can run on paved roads with a maximum speed of 100 km per hour, out to a range of 500 km. With the suspension enhanced on all eight wheels, cross-country performance improves when compared to other armoured vehicles of six wheels or less. A central tyre pressure system is installed, standard for modern wheeled armoured vehicles. As mentioned earlier, Type 96 can still move when any one of the wheels is damaged or completely destroyed. This type of APC is not designed for amphibious operations. An improved version of Type 96 was revealed in January 2017. Overall, this next generation version is longer, taller, much heavier, better protected and faster. It also has more internal volume and higher payload capacity than the current Type 96. This new version is expected to replace the 365 legacy Type 96 vehicles currently in service. My video of Type 96 armor personnel carrier ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Hãy subscribe